Hi, this is Tablet Store UK, and we're going to take a look around the new WinPad IC, the new 8 inch rugged IP65 Windows tablet. It's got an 8 inch display with a square aspect ratio of 1024 by 768 display. It's running on a third generation Intel Atom N2600 CPU, and the base specification is with 2 gig of RAM, 32 gig storage, Wi Fi, and Bluetooth. Uh, there are a host of other options on the device, so we're going to dive in and show those to you now. Um, first of all, something you'll see immediately on the front is that the device has a built-in fingerprint scanner biometric reader device and also a TPM Trusted Platform Module 1.2 chip inside as well. The module that's used inside is an Aegis Tech ES603 and you'll also see on the device manager there the Trusted Platform Module and while we're taking a look you can see that this device is configured with GPS and the module used is a U-Block 7 chipset and also this device is configured with a smart card reader as well which is on the side and I'll show you that in a moment so around the outside on the front here you can see that we've got the four corner rubbers for protection against shock and drop uh, there's a handle that clips on to some clip points on the side and this doesn't have to be used, it's optional and there are additional D-rings on that handle to attach a shoulder strap here or if you wanted to attach directly to the clips if you weren't using the handle along the bottom of the screen is a physical control for screen brightness so if we wipe our so if we wipe a finger across that you'll see the brightness go down to zero and we can bring that back up and at the top of the screen would be a front facing camera it's not configured on this model here but that's where the front facing camera would be there's a microphone just above the screen here and you probably can't see but there's a, a small letter R here and that's where the RFID reader would be if it was uh, within the device so that's where you would place your RFID tags or near to here for RFID reading We've got a power button to the right of the screen. We've got a button labeled T, which is a trigger button. So you've got a dedicated trigger button for triggering a barcode scanner if it's configured in the device. And then you've got four customizable buttons, one, two, three, four, down the right-hand side here. Button four brings up wireless radio activation and deactivation settings. So you see that clips to the side there. And we've got four options. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 3G, GPS, so 1, 2, 3, 4, then become enable and disable buttons for the four wireless radios. So if we press 4 and then 1, it would deactivate Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 3G, GPS, and we can go down the buttons and enable those again. If 4 hasn't been pressed and this isn't on the screen, then 1, 2 and 3 are shortcuts to launch different applications and that can be configured from an app that sits in the system tray down here. So a simple app there to define the button functions for 1, 2 and 3. You see that I'm using a stylus with the device and this stylus fits into the back of the device and has a hole at the top so that you can attach a lanyard or a cord, piece of string or whatever onto one of the side clips at the side would be the most logical place for that. So we'll take a look around the outside of the device. On this device there is nothing on the top edge but you can see that there is a section here um, that sits proud of the top of the device and this is where the magnetic swipe reader and or the barcode reader would sit. Over on the right edge we've got a, a port cover and inside there we've got our DC power in, a very welcome two full-size USB ports and an RS-232 COM port, a standard 9-pin COM port which would be very welcome for a number of users. On the bottom of the device we have a cover for the docking cradle connection and these are pogo pin receptors so the docking station has pogo pins for very easy docking. On the left edge of the device you can see here the clips on the corner rubbers and behind the port cover on this side we have an RJ45 LAN port 
also have a mini HDMI port. We have a micro SD card port, so you've got a memory card slot on this device. And here is the smart, code, smart card reader that's built into this unit. So that's an optional configuration, and that's where the smart card reader is. Uh, if I just take a regular credit card, although this isn't actually a, a card with a chip which it's designed for, you can just see that that slots in the side there. If I take you over to a, another unit that has a barcode reader configured on it, then you can see the barcode reader module sitting here at the top. And we can compare both devices for you there side by side. If you take a look at the back, that you'll, you'll see that it is just the very top of it that extends from the tablet. Simply there is so much packed into this tablet that it's not possible to integrate the barcode scanner inside with everything else that is inside. So the barcode scanner sits slightly proud at the top there. This black section here would be the magnetic swipe reader if configured and the way that that would work is that the card would swipe this way so the card would swipe along the top of the device. We can take a quick look at barcode scanning so as I mentioned the trigger button activates the barcode scanner so let's do a few examples of barcode reading. We we'll start with a read of a 1D label, Royal Mail barcode label um, so I've just got notepad on the screen you'll see there's nothing in notepad there we press the trigger button to activate the barcode scanner and you see we get a successful read there into notepad so just take a 2D barcode so taking a QR code on the back of my business card that has a company website and a few other details in a v-card format on the card so again we've only got the 1D barcode in notepad press the trigger button and we read the full vCard data there into Notepad. On the back of the unit we've got the slot for the stylus. You'll also see that we have a small rubber space here. This is for an external GPS antenna. So using the built-in GPS, there is a built-in GPS antenna as well, but if people are in a difficult situation where they're not near a window and want to run or patch an external antenna, they can do that with an MCX connection there and run that to an external antenna. Another option that's not on this particular model is a 5 megapixel rear camera with flash, which would sit in this area here. And the other thing I'd very much like to draw your attention to is the very high capacity 6200 milliamp hour battery, uh, hot swappable battery that's on the back here. Now there is a button here uh, and an indicator, a row of indicator lights to show the battery power, which is a very useful feature indeed. And we can simply press the button next to the indicator there and it will show us the power of the battery. Now that may not seem very useful when the tablet is on, because of course you could use the icon on the Windows desktop to see the battery status. But what is useful is that you can take a battery even that isn't connected to the tablet and you can still press the button and get an indication of the charge on the battery. Now the battery is a hot swap battery but there is only one not two so people may be wondering what the use of that is. Uh, the device does have an internal battery not sufficiently powerful to run the device when it's on but it can keep the device in hibernation. So what we can do is if you did need to change a battery is that presuming that Windows is set up to hibernate when you press the power button um, if not you'd have to either set that up or hibernate through the operating system but here it's set up that if we press the power button the tablet will hibernate so we just let that hibernate and wait for the hard drive activity light which is the orange LED here to stop flashing once those lights have gone out we flip the device over and lift out the battery. While the battery cover is off, I'm just going to point out that the SIM card slot is behind the battery cover there, just next to the connector for the battery. So, the device has now been off for a short while. We can put the battery back in. Press the power button to power back on. because it's coming out of hibernation we see the BIOS screen but there you see it's resuming Windows not starting Windows so it's going to bring us back to the same saved state at the desktop 
and so we're able to do a battery swap without having to shut down the computer. Thanks for watching. For more information and pricing, head to tabletstoreuk.com.